So the Tesla reverse split happened today, and I'm going to show you guys my position and my portfolio, as well as who I think might be next for a reverse split on the high income covered call ETFs. So let's go into my position here. You can see yield max Tesla option income strategy ETF. Current share price is now $18.58. So it's two times the amount that it was on Friday. And you can see it's up 2.65% today because Tesla went up over 2% today as well. My current market market value is still at $6,000. Today's return, I made $162.50, up 2.76%, and my price return performance, I'm down 31.56%, and I'll show you my total return as well with dividends included. My average cost now has doubled. It used to be around $13, and now it is $27.15. So I currently have half the shares that I had on Friday, so now I have $325 shares in this portfolio and it's about 18.52 percent of this high income portfolio that i have on Robinhood. i have other etfs in this portfolio as well that pay super high dividends and you can see my performance today i'm at 37,971 dollars and i'm up 840 dollars just today so covered call etfs do limit the upside but when there's a good upside day you definitely make quite a bit of money so let's take a look at tesla and take a look at the distribution details so our previous dividend was 40 cents per share and now that is going to be doubled because there's half shares outstanding so the previous distribution at today's new share price would be 80 cents so everything basically doubles be back up to those bigger payments but of course you have less shares so it should be about the same if they pay 80 cents in March then you will get the same amount in dividends that you did last month because your shares have been cut in half your market value is still the same so everything is basically the same and I don't really care about this reverse split because these ETFs people are really understanding why this reverse split is really not that big of a deal most people have seen reverse splits happen on actual companies where they're really doing poorly financially this is just share price and they're trading options so it really doesn't matter that they did a reverse split they could do it quite a few times and the share price can continue to rise and you'll make a great return on your investment even after a reverse split you can make money with Tesla so I am not worried about it and I'm going to continue holding my position because everything is the same in my portfolio it's just that I have half the shares but the market value is still the same and you could see I performed fantastically today even with a reverse split happening in my portfolio so let's take a look at the 2024 distribution schedule for yield max ETFs let's see where we're gonna get paid in March so declaration date will be 3 5 2024 x dividend date 3 6 2024 and the payment date will be 3 8 so only three days in between declaration date and payment date which is absolutely fantastic and then i was taking a look at this they updated the website where it says 2024 distribution schedule for fund of funds etfs which would be ymag and ymax but what is this and ultra etfs so they might be coming out with something a little special soon so we'll see that then I updated my dividend portfolio tracker here. So I cut my shares in half with Tesla here. You can see average share cost is 27.15 as well as in my m1 finance portfolio i had about 88 shares and now currently i have 44.96 shares and my average cost in there is 26.32 let's take a look at my total return i showed you guys my market return with which is just price alone and i am down 31.7 percent with market return but total return including my dividends i'm down 12.55 percent so we could have a massive day for tesla or a massive week and then I'll be positive on my position I'm really not worried about it like a lot of people are on YouTube and in the comments it's really just fine nothing really happened because like I said it's an ETF that trades options they do synthetic covered calls and it really nothing has changed in M1 finance I'm down 13 0.1%. But if we take a look overall with my high income investments alone, I'm up 1.87%. And that is current holdings. Like I said in previous videos, I sold NVIDIA for a nice huge gain. And this would bump up my total return for the high yielding dividend ETFs that I have so far in my portfolio. So you can see I am 
in the green with high yielding ETFs, not everyone loses money investing in these income generating assets. And then I also updated my dividendtracker.com. You can find the link in description if you want to sign up for this. And my yield on cost went down a little bit because this website didn't really calculate in the reverse split. But when the dividend does come out, in March, everything will re-update, and I still made over $1,000 in dividends in February. It just thinks that I had half the position of Tesla, but they didn't really factor in the reverse split yet and the dividendtracker.com, but that will be updated soon. And then at the beginning of the video, I said, what do you think is going to be the next ETF of Yieldmax to do a reverse split? Because it might happen with quite a few in the future. We're not really too sure. But I think the one with the lowest share price currently is OARC, the Yieldmax ARC Option Income Strategy ETF. And this one was up 3% today because ARC was up pretty big today. And you can see in the past year, it's down 22.42% on price return. And over the max time, it is down 33.62%. And by no means am I you know, bearish on OARC or bearish on ARC Invest, but I'm just looking at the share price and seeing maybe what they will do in the future because we saw that once Tesla dropped below $10, they decided to do the reverse split. So this one's at $13.29, so maybe that will be next. And then another one not really involving yield max ETFs would be this Crane Shares clip. And a lot of people do like this ETF, and I think they have a positive return with dividends included in the past year. But you see price return is down 34.19%. I don't know what the regulation is for this sort of ETF where they would have to do a reverse split. But you can see over the max time, it's down 38.64%, and the share price went from about $25 per share all the way down now to about $15.27. But they pay a nice dividend every single month to their shareholders, so we'll see what happens in the future with Clip. I'm just going based off of share prices for these covered call strategy ETFs because that's what we saw with Tesla, but by no means are you going to lose all of your money after a reverse split. Like if you're holding on to Tesla, you know exactly what happens. Basically, the just the share price changes and your shares change, but your market value stays the same. So that is today's reverse split. Let me know what you guys think. Are you buying back in? Did you hold through the split? And I think everything's fine basically and reverse splits are scary of course when it's an underlying company or an underlying stock that really is in financial trouble and they're trying to really boost the share price but this is fine because it's a synthetic option strategy and covered call strategy and it's basically just numbers so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one